Good morning, everybody. Happy Friday to you. I believe it's the 4th of either the 4th or 5th of September 2020. What a waste of time this morning. I'm going to get right to it. Uh, as you guys may or may not know, I've been kind of looking at uh, RVs, particularly the uh, camper vans and the smaller C-Class uh, RVs. And uh, this morning I had another opportunity. I had to be there at 7 o'clock before the guy left for uh, for work at 7.30. And I had to drive about 35 miles today to check out an RV and two issues with it. The RV, the camper van was really nice. A, uh, a rather later model, like a 1997, 1998, pretty good condition. It had been underneath of one of those tarp cover, pipe frame tarp covers, and it looked pretty good. And then it about does, I'm looking around the rig, you know, the uh, husband's there and the wife comes comes out and say, you know, start, they start going at each other about the price of the RV and don't get ripped off and, uh, you know, you're, she's like, you're so dumb, you know, you don't know how to sell stuff or something. I'm, I'm standing here like, okay, are we going to have this, are we going to have this argument here about the, uh, the uh, RV, as if that wasn't bad enough to sit there and listen to Ma and Pa Cattle going on about the RV. They didn't even, the guy didn't even, you know, and this, this is my fault for not asking and sort of uh, vetting the deal or qualifying the deal by asking ahead of time if you have all the proper titling and, you know, because I like to match VIN numbers and if I buy something, I like to drive directly to DMV, and I tell the person, if we got to wait two or three hours, there's the only way I'm going to buy this. That saved me when I bought the GMC in 1974. Had I, the 1974 GMC, had I not gone with the seller to the DMV in Stockton, California, I would not have found that it was owed over four hundred dollars in back um, <clears throat> back fees and things, and I would have been ended up paying that. As it was, the guy wanted to see the deal go through, so he forked the money over. The deal was done, but got a temporary title and just left, and everything was cool. But this guy's like, I, you know, I can't find the, uh, I don't know where the title is and all that. I mean, that's a immediate deal killer for me. I mean, you can't locate the title. How in the hell do I know you didn't grab it at somebody's place over the next valley or you're just, you're that chaotic and disorganized. And I'm not going through all the paperwork to uh, wait for it to be driven to DMV. And then they have to do a VIN search. And then they got to look at the engine block and all kinds of things to figure out if who really, and I'm not getting into that, but it was a, it was a colossal waste of time. And I, I, I tell you, I'm kind of turned off to the whole RV proposition now for several reasons. And like I said, that was dumb of me not to uh, pre-check. You should always ask if you have clean title uh, for the uh, vehicle. Otherwise, you're getting into a real, you're getting into a real mess. You might have a salvage title. You might have some other uh, encumbrances, liens on the vehicle. You don't really know. You don't know what's going on. There's nothing like walking out of DMV and having clear title on things. And people do all kinds of weird stuff with uh with RVs and all that, but uh, the number of people in RVs, what's a what's a turn off these days? And I mean, there's there. Let's separate the RVs that you live in. Okay, you buy a big class A RV, 28, 35, 40 feet long, maybe a travel trailer or a fifth wheel. You park it at a uh, you park it at a spot. You pay your monthly fee. That's fine. That's alternative housing. But if you're talking about being on the road and things like that. The one big issue is places like Walmart or places that you're allowed to park your RV. Those number of places are diminishing. Uh, Walmart's cut down dramatically the number of locations that you can park. They're much more closely monitoring if you do park at one of the places that is allowed because uh, some RVers have destroyed the privilege by being slobs when they're parked uh, parked at those locations. Don't be that person, okay, because you're ruining it for other people. Number two, the fees and the cost for 
for parks, uh, you know, if you're traveling and I want to go to an RV park or a place that has the ability to park the RV and, and uh, have a shower or something like that, you're looking at, uh, in most places, 40 50 bucks a night and upward. You go to a place like San Diego, you're talking about $90, $100 for a, a night. Just to have your, uh, just to have your RV parked there, and that just, it becomes, it becomes a ridiculous. And it reaches a point, which for me is crossed now, that if I really choose to, I have the option to stay stealth in my own little van. But if I want to go, go into a hotel, hoteling is dirt cheap right now with the uh, pandemic and everything else. So I've put the brakes on the search. I have, uh, Wonderful friends of mine that are continuously sell, uh, sending me uh, things about RVs, RVs for sale. But I tell you, I'm tired of tracking it down. It just doesn't really fit at the uh, current time. You know, the demand is high because people were uh, people were getting a boot out of their places. They're moving on. They're losing jobs. They're downscaling. But there'll be a time coming up when uh, RVs are just disgorged on the market because people need to uh, raise money. So we'll see. Well, there's my wasted morning. Same thing happened to me when I bought the 19, uh, 1988 Coachman uh, camper van some four years ago. I went up to Lake Tahoe, and the husband and wife had been fighting. The guy I'm supposed to meet... He's uh, fishing up on Lake Tahoe. He leaves the wife at home. She's pissed. She's all angry. I don't know where the keys are. I don't know what the story is on the RV. You're going to have to search around. I'm trying to communicate with the guy while he's up uh, fishing. I mean, if you're going to sell an RV, at least, at least have the nuts enough to be there and see the deal through. And the worst aspect of all was... He then tells me on the phone, um, you know, just need to tell you that the charging system doesn't work. Okay, I'm 240 miles or whatever from home. Now you're telling me the charging never disclosed to me anything like that. Good thing I brought a fresh battery with me and uh, was able to just get that, uh, get that RV just to the gates of the Rancho on that battery before it quit but it was a harrowing adventure you can go back and see the uh, 1988 coachman uh, driving at home and everything else it was a it was a hell of an adventure and it just made me more aware particularly when it comes to RVs you really have to uh, figure out stuff beforehand because you don't want to waste your time and you certainly don't want to waste your money because it wasn't disclosed to me that he had a non-functioning uh, charging system, which was easily fixed. The back battery, the house battery, was actually tied in and was shorting out the draining, the front battery. Easy fix, but I was able to, uh, you know, because uh, the guy sold it at auction, and he knew if he didn't make right with me, I was going to bomb him on the... Uh, on the review, so he ended up knocking another $500 off of the deal, which I thought was pretty fair. It wouldn't have been if I had to pay for tow. But the bottom line is this. <clears throat> it's really a lousy time, I think, to be looking at uh, RVs. And the cost, the limited places, not every community wants an RV park built next to them. You can imagine that. But do you want one next to you Friday and Saturday night? Budweiser beer, the caps turn backwards, yeah, 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 fighting, hooting, and hollering. <laughs> a lot of demand and not much supply in that regard, and they're really squeezing it on the uh, price now. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and close it out. My wasted morning. Your thumbs up are appreciated, and have a great day, everybody. Be smart.